Okay, well, first off, welcome back. Second off, I'm dressed a little different than usual. And I'm going to explain why. I have gotten a little tired of seeing all this silver shroud stuff in my inventory, so I looked into how to get rid of it. Turns out you have to complete the quest, the side mission that involves the silver shroud guy. So, I think I've got everything. Um, it won't let you put anything away and that's related to this heist, so I pretty much have everything. There's the the, shrip, the script, and the photo, and the machine gun prop. Anywho, you're supposed to, I don't know how the hell you're supposed to piece this together, you're supposed to come to Good Neighbor, and then go to the memory den, and then listen to the radio, and, because there's a radio station, Silver Shroud radio station here, I didn't know that. And even then, after all that, I don't know how you're supposed to know that he's in here, but there's a guy in here, named Kent Connolly, and you have to talk to him about stuff. That's all I know. Obviously, he's a big fan of the Silver Shroud. So, yeah, let's go see what he wants. Hey. Good neighbors crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. B but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Vomitable from episode 83. Yeah, something like that. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. That's an understatement. Things may look bad, but we gotta try to make it better. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Sure, Kent. You have a plan, all right. I know how it sounds. I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? As it happens, I already have your costume. There she is. Pretty as the poster. I was wearing it the whole time. Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. What are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Sure. Here you go. After all these... I'm naked. <laughs> days, the Silver Shroud is born again. But... There's just one problem. He took it all. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler, Jarvi Blake. But Jarvie. the Shroud is strong, capable. Come on, don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the Cryo Vault and all. Like I get to be the shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbors' streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Reduces damage from humans by 15%. Really? That's actually pretty Here's good. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the silver shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Okay, now, the only reason I humored him is because I also uh, remember reading that there's only like six of these that we have to do. So, it's not going to be any big deal that we, I can't wear that, that we just, you know, humor him for a little while. I mean, and it's not a bad costume. It's definitely not what's in right now in the world, but, so, um, data, miscellaneous, listen to Silver Shroud, okay, so we need to get back outside and just listen to the radio station. I'm pretty sure we only got like a certain number of calling cards. Um, 
Silver Shroud Calling Guard. Yes, six. So there's six different uh, little vigilante missions we have to do. I guess if you want to call them that, that's pretty much what they are. That a Silver Shroud costume? Hey, uh, no judgment. But ain't that a kid show? Stop making fun of me. Um, radio. I'll pull it off. Calling off Silver Shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Hmm, there's no subtitles. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid. Oh, Holy moly, cows. the Silver Shroud in the flesh. Death is coming oh no, Wayne. death is coming for me. What's with the fancy dust? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new strand. Rumor is you killed Miss Selmy. Is that true? Selmy? Yeah, I killed the bitch. And her wealth, too. Shouldn't have bothered they barely had two caps between them. You listen to the radio? Someone wants you dead. You threatening me? Are you threatening me? You threatening me? That's your last mistake, asshole. Wait, are you gonna punch me? Put calling card. Oh. There we go. It fell off, but I did it. Just wait for the next one, I guess. Maybe. Everyone's making fun of me. <laughs> Alright, well, um, we have to leave and come back and, like, do something else, I think, because I know for a fact that before I started recording, I listened to, I listened to some of that, and it, it is literally, it's like legitimately a five-minute Silver Shroud episode, they just, like, read the transcripts over the radio, and it's, oh, it's, it's, like, it's so bad, it's so, like, 50s, bad guy, good guy dialogue. I'm I'm not about to stand there and listen to it. And if we have to do like other things in between coming back and doing the Silver Shroud missions we can, we can go off and do a mission. And adhesive is rare and used to create nearly every mod. Yes. Unfortunately adhesive is not what I'm short on. What I'm short on is aluminum. And man, do we need aluminum because freaking the castle. Oh god, the castle. How many freaking man, how many freaking power generators could you need? It feels weird not having power armor on. And again, I guess I couldn't really play the part of uh, the Silver Shroud. Alright, well. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go back to Sanctuary. We'll grab the power armor real quick, and um, obviously, it's there's like a timer. Probably we have to wait on for the next Silver Shroud mission, but at least we're at the point now where we can do that side quest, get it all out of the way, and. Uh, get the costume and everything else out of our inventory because I'm kind of tired of carrying it around. Nothing. Alright, good. Well, there it is. It's a 
strange and odd day when I leave my power armor behind. I don't know why I did. I just wasn't thinking, I guess. Oh, shut up. Now, talk to Bobby. The Battle of Bunker Hill or Silver Shroud. There's more missions, but I want you to look at this. Look at this. That's how many missions we've done. That's a lot of missions. And here's our workshops. 47, 60, 52. And I'm just you know scrolling through, letting you look at the happiness. The happiness one is apparently um, yeah, sanctuary. No down arrows. That's important. Well, I almost said 28. This one, Sunshine Tidings Co-op. They've got everything they need, so I guess they're getting happier. Locations discovered, 229. Locations cleared, 115. 175 days. I've only slept for four hours. I've waited for 416. Found 32,000 caps. Uh, junk collected. 55 magazines. 451 stim pack. I didn't even know this, was st this stuff was here. I've only used 29 fusion cores. Wow. Times addicted, 16. Behind this disarm, 26. Persuasion successes. Oh, does, I wonder if it, I wish it could tell me how many times I failed. Persuasion. Probably, I'll probably only like two or three. Crime. Locks picked. Computers hacked. Assaults. Murders. Trespasses. Crafting. Um. Here we go. Fourteen hundred twenty-seven creatures. One hundred thirty legendaries. Only one backstab. I wonder who the backstab was. Oh, I bet it was when we had to help the people. Uh, we had to help that one guy, you know, and his, his dad had the artifact over it. Lorenzo, I think was his name. Maybe. I don't know. At any rate, I was thinking about it. Let's go see if the railroad has anything for us to do. They probably, they may not. But it doesn't hurt to check anyways. There's railroad HQ. Because um, we've, we've kind of been helping everybody except for the railroad lately. And we could always go back and do some more... Um, Brotherhood missions too with Knight Reese and Scribe Halen, but they just they're so good about sending us to the same place over and over again. Use the back entrance. Too much traffic through the church and we'll burn this hideout. Deacon's record is the best. You can learn a lot from him. Yeah, I'm totally gonna go gonna go out of my way to not fast travel here. Tinker Tom's cooking up something. I hope it goes better than last time. I hope the guy the institute. Hey, Carrington. I still I can't believe Des assigned you to our HQ. I'm just here to help the cause. Be that as it may. Put simply, you shouldn't be here. It isn't a question of competence. It's a simple matter of security. Well, I'm here now. <sighs> Since you're one of us now, might as well try to keep you alive. If you need patching up, see me. What type of doctor are you? My specialty is need to know and all that. However, I assure you I can treat any ailments or wounds you're likely to encounter. Word to the wise, be prepared to improvise. You may find your operational orders lacking. Butter him up. You're obviously one of the smartest people here. What do you really mean by that? No one doubts Desdemona is um, inspirational. But let's just say strategy may not be her forte. You can confide in me. I hesitated to bring it up, but you will be risking your life on our behalf. When planning a mission, a certain degree of clinical detachment can be invaluable. Maybe people should learn to take their doctor's advice. I may have misjudged you. Focus on your objectives. Ignore all the distractions. Stay safe out there. Cool. I think we just met a friend. You awesome. One of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scaver. Sorry, Tinker Tom's got me doing something. I didn't ask for you to How tell you me something. Fit down here in that? Desdemona. I just heard the most fascinating rumor. The story goes that you actually found the Institute. Been there and back again. How did you Sounds hear? Crazy, right? How did you hear about that? Where'd you hear that? Deacon brought it to my attention. And, as usual, he won't give up his source. It's all true. Deacon says you used teleportation. 
I can't imagine. You must feel justifiably proud of what your Minutemen have achieved in such a short time. Eventually, the Minutemen will devise their own plan to deal with the Institute. But I doubt your soldiers will place any priority on rescuing the synths inside. I'm counting on you being as passionate about freeing synths as we are. Please, work with us. Hi, Deacon. Hello, Deacon. Side with the Minutemen, side with the railroad. You think the Minutemen won't help the synths? The Minutemen are a reflection of the character of the Commonwealth people. And time and time again, that character has been proven to be rotten. The synths are tangible receptacles of their hatred of the Institute. Order them to help, and they'd mutiny. I don't know. Take your time. Think it over. But remember, the synths' fate is literally in your hands. Good God, that smile. It's all our asses if you want. Would you be You got quiet? what it takes to go far with us. I can tell. Hey, want me back on deck, huh? I got to admit, things have been pretty. No, nah, I don't want you back on my team. Um, mm hmm. Oh, I think I just understood what uh what I accidentally just did almost. Um, you see here in the data s the quests. Here it says, you know, inform the Brotherhood, inform the railroad, or reach Bunker Hill, and I actually could have just informed the Brotherhood and sided with them. Um. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I, I don't. I'm not going with the institute. I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I just don't. I don't like the institute. They're too. They're too technologically messed up. It, it's all about these synths and robots and creating these perfect, you know, machines to wipe out the upper part of the world so they can take over and make it the way they want it. I don't like that. At least the Brotherhood is trying to take out the bad that's in the world and keep the good alive. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You actually inside the Institute? That's insane. You? Just you. Word is Diamond City is under opposition control. This drummer boy guy is really annoying. All right, well, hmm, no missions here apparently. I wonder if we go and talk to Elder Maxon on the Pridwin. Look how close I am to hitting level 56. If I go talk to Elder Max on the Pridwin, if um, I'm also going to be given the choice to side with him or not, I have a feeling that um, I'm going to get the pretty much. I'm pretty much going to get the same conversation with him, where he's going to be like, you know, choose us. Or choose them. Let's find out. I'm still wearing the silver shroud uniform. How can a machine believe it's alive? All right, there he is. I'm out of save. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute and liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the signal interceptor without the Brotherhood Knight. However, you've secured passage to and from their facility, which was one of our primary goals. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment, since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans. I now have two missions for you to complete, first and foremost. I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape, so we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of background to explain. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain 
that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight. See, see, uh, his attitude is just wrong. And, hell, to, to get, to do this part, wouldn't I have to go to Sanctuary? Because doesn't What's-His-Name have that? Yeah, Sturgis has that. I gave it to Sturgis. Are you going to let me... Oh, I can't fast travel from this location. That's right. Doi. Let me actually go out here. Right. Um... You might appear compassionate, but I can assure you the Institute will face its wrath. He doesn't appear compassionate. He appears crazy. Nice, that broom, I think, just spawned him in that guy's hand. Okay, now let's go up here. Uh, guy, I, I don't know. I don't really like the, the Brotherhood that much. I don't hate them. A lot of them are good, but their leader's a dickhead. As we just saw. He's pretty much just like, well, you didn't let, you didn't, you know, do it under my orders and I didn't get to oversee it but I'll overlook that now you know do this and this and this and this like a good boy see here's Sturgis now what's it you're tied to this place kid hang on Sturgis remember that holotape with all the Institute data I need it back oh yeah why what have you got cooking Let's see what he says. I could always reload if I don't like what I do here. I'm working on something with the Brotherhood of Steel. They want to look at the data I got from the Institute. Hmm. The Brotherhood, huh? I sure hope you know what you're doing. Here. Okay, cool. So, yeah. We didn't cut ties with anybody. We're still friends with every faction in the game. Though, it's getting really hard to keep things that way. Like, it's getting really hard. Uh, it, it, we're at the point now where every decision we make is probably going to lead us closer to turning on someone. Everyone's waiting for us to do something so they can determine whether or not we're on their side. Except for the Minutemen. And I, I'm going to tell you right now, I may have always, you know, I may give the Minutemen shit, you know, it's just like always, you know, go protect this settlement, you know, Preston's always like telling me to go do this and that and this and that. But I, they're the one faction in the game that is a, I think I've said this before, they are the ultimate good in my opinion. They are just made up of the people. Farmers and settlers and stuff like that. They're not a massive army. They're not some underground secret society like the railroad. And they're not some, you know, robotic entity of perfection like the Institute. So, I mean, I don't know. Here you are. Proctor, I came across a holotape with a full scan of the Institute's network. Thanks. You know... It's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. I wasn't worried. After all, I built the device myself. I have confidence in everything I built, too. But that's because I'll only deal with technology that I understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. What do you hope to find on there? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's going to take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, 
Your mission to recruit Dr. Lee still needs to be completed. I believe Elder Maxon gave you all of the details. Good luck, Knight. Nice. Outside the wire. Now, really quick, let me just spin this point on computer hacking. Hack master terminals. I wonder what the next one's gonna be about. Will it even tell me? Oh wait, no, I can that's that is the next one. Alright. Uh it's time for me to be truthful with you guys. My first playthrough of the game, I ended up going with the Brotherhood. And it was a good ending for me. I kinda liked it. And it was okay. Um it wasn't a bad ending by any means. You, you know, I'm not going to tell you what happened, but I just ended up going with them. And at this point in the game, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I can tell you that I'm not going with them again. And I'm not going with the Institute, which narrows it down to the, the Minutemen or the Railroad. And I am leaning towards the Minutemen way more than I am the Railroad. But I don't know. I actually don't quite know how to go with the Minutemen at this point. I don't, because I only get the choice of informing the Railroad or the Brotherhood. Or I could just reach Bunker Hill in general. I'm going to find out. I I'm going to do it off camera and see what I can find. Um, so, uh, in other words, we can't do this one. Um, once you get Dr. Lee, you actually start a mission that pretty much makes you side with the Brotherhood. That's... It's a point of no return. So that mission we cannot do. Basically, you just go in there and you convince her to come out. You talk to her and you convince her to leave the Institute with you and come back to the Brotherhood to work on another quote-unquote project. And basically what it is is she helps this chick over here build a giant robot that you use to tear open the ground and enter the Institute on foot rather than so you can destroy it, you know, piece by piece. Um, that's in a nutshell. There's actually way more to it than that. Otherwise, we're not going to worry about it, though. And I'd like to keep on doing the Silver Shroud missions until I get those done. So, um, where does Good Neighbor keep going? Right there. But, like I said, I'm going to keep on putting it off. I'm going to keep on doing other things in the meanwhile, and I'm going to try to find out how to side with the Minutemen, because I want to go with the Minutemen. I like them the most. We've done the most work with the Minutemen. We, we've built up our factions with the Minutemen. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me... Alright, well... Apparently not. Still just wanting to tell me about the stories, and I don't really give a crap about them. Welcome home. AJ's connected with powerful friends. Don't be a sap. Play nice. Hey there. We ain't the only friends of AJ here. You follow? Excuse me. AJ's connected with powerful friends. Hi. Don't be a sap. Play we nice. the only friend. Hey, all right, all right. Looking for work? Looking for work? Yeah, when can I start? Well, aren't you an eager beaver? If you don't mind a little manual labor and don't ask too many Skype? questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? 50 caps? I'm gonna need more to go on. There's a project I'm working on. A big one. One that could get me into lots of trouble if the wrong person finds out. So little discretion is called for. I got a delicate house of cards going here. You know? You can do better than that. Fine. <laughs> Take a hundred up front. This is just a bad deal. Ah, uh, you're killing me here. 150 to start. Still not good enough. 200. <laughs> I love having my charisma maxed out. Jeez, I gotta watch out for this one. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. Oh, door. I'll give you the lowdown. The big dig. Cool. Bobby no no Bobby no no's. I thought I said noise for a second there. 
Talk to Bobby complete. Yeah, so we've we've been, we have bounced around like crazy from quest to quest to place to place. Just tell me what I need to do. It's a simple job, really. You are gonna be doing some digging. <laughs> what are we digging for? Buried treasure? You could call it that. But seriously, lay off the questions. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand. Join the okay, fine. I'm just digging. Oh. This is strange. I guess I'm on a need to know basis apparently. Oh, it's a whole nother area. Dang. Ooh, what are we getting ourselves into here? The dig. <laughs> the wash. They sure are giving these clubs some crazy names. Hey, I think we can finally get through. Want to see what's on the other side? Oh yeah. You think Bobby will pay us this week? I don't know, man. It's starting to feel like we're doing charity. Did you just hear something? It's crawling with my alert. Fail. Bobby can take this job and shove it. Good luck down there, new guy. Good luck down there, new guy. Dude, I eat my alerts for breakfast. However, oh, that one there was flying. The glowing wire alerts aren't as easy. Jesus. Wait, now what? Wait, wait. What do I, wait, wait, what, what do I do? Oh, great, there's more eggs. Um, aluminum, hell yeah. He said something about being able to see through the other side, but I don't... I don't follow. Do I need to report back to Bobby or talk to Bobby? All right, fine. What is going on in my tunnel? That room was filled with fireworks. At least you put up a better fight than those good for nothings. Well, you stuck around at least. So I guess you're promoted. You get to be my new gun. I think we just need one more guy. I am a walking gun. Friend. He'll want a fair cut, but we saw what the end chief got me. Just tell me where to go, who to talk to. I knew I liked you. First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. Go. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business. Diamonds? Goldman's? <laughs> Goldman's. That's yeah. well. Cool. So we've got this side quest going now, and I think I'm going to call the episode here. In the next episode, we'll continue doing this, um, and I think, I think what we're going to do, we're going to finish this. We're not going to do this one. We're going to try to work on these. Not going to do that one yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to. See Night Race and Scribe Halen and just do, you know, maybe an episode or two, two or three's worth of uh, missions for the Brotherhood again. Just some, you know, miscellaneous. Go here, kill these things. Sorts of missions. Just so we can, you know, keep adding to the stuff we've discovered and, and gathering scrap and all that jazz. Go up here and see what's... Apparently I can take whatever I want, which is very surprising to me. Bobby's terminal. Hmm, nah, I better not. She's still technically my friend. So, yeah. 
In the next episode, we'll do that. I'm going to find out how to side with the Minutemen, or to make sure that I side with the Minutemen. Because I think that's what I've decided on. I told you earlier in the last couple of episodes that I've already decided, but I was torn between the Minutemen and the Brotherhood. The only friends of AJ. Hey, man, they are really annoying. So yeah, I'm going to work on that. and We'll see what happens, uh, you know, as it happens. I'm still not 100% sure what, exactly what I'm supposed to do, but there is no shortage of stuff that we can work on completing. You know, it's Fallout 4. There's, it's infinite. There's an infinite amount of things that we can do. Places to go, stuff to scavenge, crap to store away. <laughs> it's just, uh, uh, that's the game in a nutshell. Hoarding. This is it's like, it's like hoarders in post-nuclear fallout. That's all it is. Anyways, in the next episode, we'll do all that crap. Until then, take care, and I'll see you later.